Hi, my name is Vinny and I'm a UK reseller based in the southwest of England. In this video, I'll be showing you some stuff I listed on eBay, some stuff I sold on eBay and some stuff I bought in store. Stay tuned to see what happens. First job of the day, get a couple of items listed. So I've decided to list the Mr. Blobby plush and the Berserk game I got at the charity shop yesterday. So that's those two items done, listed, and popped in their skew. We have just seven card parcels going out today, including this Keldeo V for £3.50, three Labyrinth Ladies of the Silver Castle, they went for 30 to the same buyer, this Divine Dragon Knight Felgrand in Ultimate Rare that went for 20 a Zamazenta V that went for £8.50, a Breeding Pool that went for 20 a Supreme Verdict Rare from Double Masters that went for 5 and a Rishka's Expertise that went for 3 Not a whole bunch of value there, to be quite honest. What are we looking at? 8 28 36 56 86 Nearly £90 worth of sales, not too bad. Um, I do have some parcels to go out as well, but I am waiting for over £120 worth of payments to come in. We sold some Dragon Ball Special Edition box sets. That was an offer that we took £90 for three, and a few single cards as well, including some Yu-Gi-Oh! and some Pokemon that haven't been paid for yet. I don't know about you, but recently I've had quite a lot of non-payers. I don't often get it. A lot of people buying things and then cancelling. Quite a few offers retracted as well, I've noticed. So I don't know, don't know what's going on there. Not a terrible day on eBay yesterday. I just need to get these items packed up and ready to send. I've just gone to print my labels and noticed that this item has actually been paid for now. So this is a £50 Ultimate Rare Volcanic Shell. Sold two the other day, plus this one. Uh, the other two went off to one buyer. This one's going off to a different buyer. He must have paid for that last night. Didn't notice that until I went to print my labels. So that's another one to add to the pile. Still got over a hundred pound of orders waiting to be paid though. Um, hopefully they'll get those paid later today. As well as those letters from earlier, I have this one parcel going out. It would have been a couple more, but we're still waiting for some payments to come through. Hopefully that'll happen in the next 24 hours or so. But if not, I'll have to send a reminder to get those items paid for or cancel them if they don't pay. This was a Fight Star Tour t-shirt from 2008. This is a small, so I knew it would take a little bit longer to sell. It's only taken a couple of months. Bought it from a charity shop for two pound, had it listed for 25 and that sold this morning. Hopefully that'll fit the person and we won't get a return. Just popped it in a box because uh, for some reason we charge three pound 50 postage for that uh, rather than large letter. So that's going off today as well. There's a picture of it and everything if you need to know what it looks like. Uh, but yeah, two pound in a charity shop, turned that into 25 pound in a couple of months. I'm expecting some orders to turn up. I'm expecting some orders to turn up at some point today. I've got a delayed games workshop order. I've got three asthma day orders, which should include some card restocks and some new items. But I've had no updated delivery on any of them. So I don't know if they're gonna turn up or when they're gonna turn up. Normally get an hour time slot, but I haven't had any of that today. So I'm in a bit of limbo, really. I don't really wanna start anything, like any major jobs that I wanna do, like tidying certain areas or moving anything. Not only because it's likely that they'll turn up as soon as I start or I'm halfway through it, but it's also half term, so I don't wanna do any big jobs anyway, really. When those bits get here, we're gonna have quite a lot of stuff to put in the till, quite a lot of sorting out and quite a lot of packing away of stock. Everything has to be photoed, put on our social media platforms as well. So it does take quite a lot of time. So what I think I'm gonna do in the meantime is just list some items that I found on my phone a little while ago. I've obviously got all the photos ready to put these items up, but I never got around to listing them. So I'm gonna get on with that and get those listed. And then hopefully some orders will turn up and I can just pop those to the side and then carry on with them another day. So I'm gonna to get to listing those and I'll be back later if anything else happens today. A few moments later. It's been going well. I've listed quite a few of those computer games I bought down from upstairs from our storage room. I've got through about seven or eight and finally an order has turned up. Unfortunately, it's only part of an order and it's only very small, so it's not gonna take me long to put out or get ready. So I've literally just had these new Pokemon Crown Zenith, or Zenith, however you like to pronounce it, mini tins turn up. 
five different ones to collect, 9.99, two boosters and a sticker sheet inside there. They're all in the till now. They've been photoed, they've been put on the social media and they are on sale this Friday. I think I'm gonna take a small break now. I'm gonna go down the charity shop again because I said yesterday that I was gonna try and make a concerted effort to go down there at least once a day if I can during the week at least. So I'm gonna pop down there and see if there's anything I can find to get listed. Right, I'm back. I've been down the charity shop. I popped into both actually, uh, just so I could have a little break from listing things. I'll get back onto the listing in a sec. I did pick up two things from the charity shop. Not big money, not like the banger I got yesterday. Not that Adidas windbreaker jacket. That's gone off home to be washed now. But I got two items, just bread and butter items. So the first thing I saw was this cribbage board. This is by Pleasant Time. This is from about the 1970s. It looked quite old, it looked quite good in here. It's a lovely looking cribbage board made in the USA. I had a look online when I got back to the shop. Turns out there's none of these or this brand available in this country. Lots available in America. Most people are charging about 12 to 15 pound for this set in particular, but the postage on top brings it up to an additional 25 to 30 pound. So if you were to buy it from America, in the UK, it would cost you about 45 pound, including global shipping. I've listed this one for 19.99 plus postage. It practically looks unused inside. I'll put a photo here of the listing I've done, show you it's looking all nice. The little back panel that keeps the pegs in place is a little bit corroded, but we've tried to clean that up. I think if we got some wire wool on that, it would look a bit better as well. I don't think we're going to bother doing that though, but it comes with its original six pegs as well. So that was a two pound spend. I'm pretty sure we'll get about 20 pound for that. So not bad, little bread and butter item, nice and easy to pack and post as well. And we'll pop that in storage in a mo. Second item was another bread and butter item. I'm becoming a bit of a clothing guru, I would say a bit of a clothing reseller uh, now. So as I was leaving the store, I looked in the little hat box they have outside and I noticed this Molson Canadian hockey. This is a little beanie or stocking cap, as all the uh, clothing resellers call it. Uh, just a nice little cap there, nothing special. Uh, I couldn't find this exact one on eBay, but I found similar ones, a grey one, uh, a white one, for about £20 plus postage. Again, most of them were in America. It's got a few marks on it. I'm going to take it home, see if I can clean them out. Hopefully I can. If not, I can just put it in the description. Probably about 15 to 20 pounds again for this, plus postage. Uh, so not big money, but only cost a pound 50. So a pound 50 into 15 or 20, that's 10 times my money. After fees, it's a bit less. And again, two pound into 20 for that cribbage set. So not big money, but some items I can get listed and added to the store. About a week ago, I had a guy drop some items into the store. Unfortunately, I didn't get time to film the trade didn't happen, but it's a guy I've been dealing with for quite a few years. I met his dad down the car boot. We got chatting. I told him that I was into reselling and I'd pretty much buy anything. And for the next sort of like three years, him and his son now have been bringing me stuff into store. This time his son has bought me a whole bunch of computer gaming consoles, including a Sega Mega Drive, an N64, a GameCube and a Dreamcast. All those consoles in one go with a bunch of games as well. Not a huge amount of games, maybe about seven or eight games, but a bunch of controllers and all the leads for all the consoles. He left it with me. He said he was happy for me to just have a look through it, test it all, do what I wanted. I have no reason to believe that this stuff isn't gonna work. And also when I made an offer, I made it in mind that some of them might not. So I basically didn't pay too much in the hope that all of these work when I test them and I can make some money off them. We came to a deal, we made an offer, he accepted, and then he messaged me and said, hey, I've got some more stuff to bring in, would that be okay? So I was like, yeah, sure. So I'm gonna just show you this quickly, show you what I got in this lot, and then I'm gonna show you what else he's bought in, which I haven't even looked through yet. So this is the stuff he bought me last week. We've got a few Dreamcast games, a few GameCube games. We've got 
another Dreamcast game there, Quake 3. We've got a Mario Tennis boxed and a Jess special there, Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. A uh, ton of controllers and then all the consoles. Some of the controllers and consoles have some yellowing. Uh, Discolor got a Mario Kart 64 there. 1080 snowboarding and what's this? Uh, Mario Party 4 and Judge Dredd, Dredd vs. Death. So yeah, a whole bunch of games, a whole load of stuff going on in there. So before I could even get that stuff sorted, listed and stored away, he was messaging me to bring me another bunch of stuff. He did say, do you take newer consoles like Wii's and Playstations? I was like, yeah, yeah, I can take anything. And I said to him, as long as the price is low enough, I'll buy anything. Well, as long as I can store it as well, I suppose. There are a few other restrictions. And he said, no problem, I'm going to drop some more stuff up to you. And this is what he dropped off. A bag of games, it looks like. There's a PS2 in here. Looks like a controller and a Mario Kart there. Got the black Wii with Wii Sports and Resort. And then one of the fitness boards there. I haven't looked through any of this stuff. So I thought it would be quite cool to look through it together. Now, I'm no computer game expert, but I know there's money to be made in computer games and computer consoles. Again, as long as you can get it for a low enough price, you can pretty much make money on anything. I'm going to open the games bags. I'm not going to mess around with the consoles too much. I'll have a look at those another day. The guy said I had as long as I wanted to look through them and let him know. So I've had them a few days now, so I don't want to leave it too long. I've got a day off tomorrow. I'll come back in on Thursday go through the consoles, make sure everything's okay, do a little check and see what CEX kind of gives for these things and then make an offer based on that really. So let's get the first bag open. We'll get that PS2 out of the way for a second. Let's get this bag of games open. So, all right. Let's have a mooch. So we've got Zumba, probably worthless. Wii Fit Plus, it's got Wii Fit Sports and Wii Sports Resort. So probably some value there, I guess. We got Mario Galaxy. Not sure where the value is on that now, but it's a good one. we we'll definitely pick that up at the car boot. Um, I sold this a few times, I think. Not worth a huge amount. I don't think we've got some receipts in here. Um, what's in there? So it's probably another good one. Mario Kart with disc and manual. Golden I 007. It's always good to check all the cases, make sure all the games are there. I don't know if you've ever been down the car boot and picked up what you thought was a game and then got home and checked and there was nothing in it. That's a bit of a rookie mistake. Uh, there's another Wii Fit Plus there. We've got Sean White Snowboarding. Mario Party 8. So that's quite a good one. We've got Carnival Games. Um, odd. Two copies of that. Do a multi-list in there then. We've got Monopoly. What a banger. Um, hmm, another Mario Party 8. Do a multi-list in there as well, though. And another Mario Kart. With disc. How odd. Um, so yeah, odd. Lots of doubles there. Um, doubles of some good games, like Mario Kart, so that's ideal. I'm going to open this bag as well and see what's in here. You can see there's a steering wheel. Another Mario Kart. Let's see if the game's in here. It'd be odd if it is. So what have we got in here? Manual. That's probably the thickest manual I've ever seen in my life. And steering wheel. No game though. So I'm assuming that is where one of the games has come from. Box is a bit battered, but no big deal. 
wonder if they thought they were just buying the wheel but ended up buying the uh buying the game as well yeah that's in there but no game again so we've got two of those complete basically so that's quite nice uh box again a bit battered on that one but no biggie we've got game on steering wheel might be able to do that in a bundle what else have we got in here we've got one wii remote two wii remotes all the leads and a wii in there and then we've got this black wii here so we've got two wii's so this might have been from two people actually and he's just bought it all in together and we've also got the PlayStation 2. And I am going to open that to see what one it is. So it's got silver controller, that's official. Uh, black controller, that's official. All the leads. And then it's the nice silver PS2 there. SCPH50003, pal. So yeah, I'm not sure what this is worth. I need to get that on tested, make sure there's no game in there as well. Make sure that's all working. Need to get this Wii opened, have a look in there, make sure there's no corrosion in any of these battery compartments and that kind of thing. Uh, make sure all of these sync up and work. And then yeah, so a nice little bundle actually. Two Wiis, two Mario Karts, Spare steering wheel, two steering wheels for Mario Karts, and a whole bunch of games. The Wii Fit board, meh. So um, this is a bit filthy though. That will need a good old clean. So there is a little bit of work here as well. So I have to consider that when making an offer on the price. Controllers all look good though. Consoles look good at first. Like, I'm gonna get these in a tote now, get them sorted, get them stored away and then do some research on Thursday when I come back to work. Anyone that's following me, I'd just like to say thanks for following. Thanks for watching the videos. Please leave a like and a subscribe. And as always, if you fancy leaving a comment in the comment section below, please do. I'll see you next time on the channel.